Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. So right now in this game, we have an icon pack that you can do an unlimited number of times, and EA messed that icon pack up, so a lot of people are getting compensation. Yeah, it is going crazy. It was a wild day of content yesterday on Sunday, and that was made even more wild and crazy by prices crashing on certain areas of the market and the most random showdown SBC yet so we got to take a look at that and look forward into today on monday because there's one very important sbc that's expiring that needs to return in some way shape or form to keep the menu grind going if you guys are excited for the video today drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new let's go over yesterday's content and actually start off with some stuff that happened before the content drop EA's clocks forgot to turn forward. I would watch out for this today and into the next one or two days as well as time changed in North America and EA's Instagram forgot that the time changed. They posted the content one hour early instead of being 6 p.m. UK. It was at 5 p.m. UK. Uh, they posted the content early. So we knew about the Yashin SBC and the showdown that we got yesterday about an hour ahead of time. So that's just one thing to point out because that could happen again today. So just kind of a little note to point out there. Let's talk about this showdown SBC. SBC. It was one that we never saw leaked. Honestly, we never expected it to be dropped because it doesn't have anything to do with a real life game. Galatasaray is not playing Al Hilal anytime soon, at least for what I know. But this SBC is all based around FC Pro events. So basically, Pro FC, Pro FIFA players. This is a matchup between Jercrack30 and uh, Gabriel PN in a pro event that is going to be happening. I think it's this next Saturday, the 16th of March. But the SBCs, guys, they're not even that crazy. Davinson Sanchez, transfer from Spurs, one playstyle plus. He doesn't have that many playstyles. He does have anticipate and aerial. It's not, I mean, I'm not going to say it's great. I'm not going to say it's terrible, though. Michael has trickster plus, doesn't even have five-star skills. Right and left-sided wing player. These cards, they're cheap, right? That's the that's the only thing about them that is kind of nice. Davinson Sanchez is 35k, and uh, Michael is 55,000 coins as well. To me, these SBCs don't regard uh, any sort of hype. In my opinion, they're just kind of there. And I think EA know that this was a set of SBCs really for a specific number of players. People that are interested in this pro event are going to be doing this. At least for me, I'm not super interested, and they're not that meta, so I'm going to pass on those now the other player SBC that we had yesterday was that icon Lev Yashin and it was the one that we wanted it is the center back Yashin card which actually does wear the hat in game he is a really really good center back but evidently EA don't want that many people to do him or they at least don't want a lot of people to do him for cheap because this card yesterday on the market was 1.4 to 1.5 million coins and the SBC came out at 1.9 million. Now, since this SBC was so overpriced, you can see that it has dropped a lot. And that is because people are panic selling high rated fodder and high rated fodder has absolutely been destroyed because this was one of the SBCs that so many had people had invested in 88s, 89s and 90s for when it was first leaked, right? And those prices of those cards are dropping a ton because this Yashin SBC is not very good. Couple that with the constant supply of all these high rated cards on the market with the crazy lightning rounds that EA continue to run. 89s went from 32 to 33,000 coins down to 27k. Now there's some supply in there and there's also some panic selling. It's, it's a mixture of both. I still have a bunch of 89s on my transfer list. Um, I remember when Yashin was leaked and I remember the 89s going up. I should have sold then. To be completely honest, I should have sold in the past couple of days uh, because these are the SBCs that we need to make those card prices go up. And since they weren't very good, it doesn't bode well for those. Now, there was a 90 and an 89 rated squad inside of Yashin. If they just would have made him a, a bit cheaper, he could be decent to do. And I'm not saying this is like a must like stay far away from SBC. If you want this center back Yashin card, he does have 99s in so many different stat areas. Vision, reactions, jumping, interceptions, strength. He is a pretty nuts card. So if you want to craft this, I don't think it's the worst craft ever. I would kind of not quite put him in the same um, range as like the... Winter Wild Cards hull it because that SBC was crazy overpriced at the time, but it ended up being super OP and a lot of people did the card. I think this Yashin card is kind of crazy too. Maybe you do the five match loan version, which is inside of the big SBC 
and then figure out if you want to partake uh, the whole entire 16 segment squad. But it is a lot, and if you want him, you can go get him. But it is a lot, and that's because, um, yeah, they just they just put way too many squads in here. I don't quite understand that one, but that is two SPCs now in a row, Jorginho and Lev Yashin, when it comes to the icons that are just overpriced. Hopefully, we get another icon SPC still yet in this next week of the showdown series. Of course, we'll get the EA content tweet today, which will probably give us some more information about what to expect with the icons. Let's talk about the first of two gamble SBCs we had yesterday, the 87 plus triple threat or UCL hero player pick. Guys, finally a hero player pick that doesn't give the base versions. It took them until March 10th to release a hero player pick without base versions in it. Uh, but here's the thing. Heroes this year, um, this is a whole nother video, whole nother conversation. Heroes this year are just not it. Besides the top tier upper echelon, like the Ginola, the Yaya, a couple of other cards in there like Lucio too, they're just not it. I don't know if it's because icons are so crazy this year and icons are so accessible as well. I wonder if that's part of it. But heroes, look at this, man. This is the first SBC that didn't include base heroes that we were actually looking forward to. And it's still only 8% upvoted. It might have a little bit more hype if the icon upgrade wasn't dropped yesterday as well. But uh, yeah, this one, it has a very, very bad weight as well. It's just kind of an L, right? To be completely honest. Now, the reason yesterday was crazy was because of this SBC. This is what we're getting to with all the conversation today. And this is the one that was a huge surprise. The Encore Icon Upgrade. Without this SBC, yesterday would have been kind of mid or honestly an L. But this changed everything yesterday because it gave a repeatable, unlimited repeatable. You can do this as many times as you can get the fodder to do it. Every single day, there's no limit, no three times per day, nothing. It's as, mu as much as you want to be able to do it in the next week. So it's going to be out even on the weekend when probably foot birthday is starting this Friday. And the price is what's making it very hype as well. It is pretty cheap, guys. It is 115,000 coins for an Encore Icon upgrade. Now, what do we say about cheap Gamble SBCs? They're oftentimes not the best of pack weight. Same thing goes for this icon. I did one straight away after content yesterday. I packed Vanista Roy. He went boom straight into the 89 exchange and I turned him in for 51 cards, right? A lot of people are getting pretty bad stuff out of this because base icons are included in it, but it's a fun, cheap icon gamble. You can craft it with the 83 times 10. You do need two informs and that's the part of the market that is flying but since this sbc is something different and something cool it's a cheap icon pack that is craftable with what is out right now it has a lot of hype and you know for sure it's fun i would just say use caution with this because informs are so expensive you need two informs to do this sbc and that is basically right now about eighty thousand coins informs are almost forty thousand coins a piece they were above that at one point that's 80,000 of the 115,000 coins to get this SBC done. If you can get those informs from doing the 83 plus team of the week player pick, if you're crafting a little bit on the menus, that's great. And that cuts out basically like 80,000 coins worth of value. That's why this SBC has hype because it is pretty easy and cheap to craft. And regardless, so it is a nice SBC. It's something that we have not seen in a long time. Most of the icon packs are what, three, 400,000 coins. You need 86s, 7s, and 8s. This one only needs 83s, 84s, and then an 85 rated squad. It's crazy, right? And that's why it is hype, but it's also not very good in terms of the pack weight. So I would just warn you guys with that, the pack weight, don't expect anything crazy. I think we maybe opened like five to 10 yesterday on the stream and we had one team of the year icon that was Javi and the rest were like either mid to low level bases or like maybe one or two Thunderstrucks or a um, winter wild cards like Lineker or something like that. So it's fun to craft and it will be able to be crafted this week. But I just tell you, be careful with your fodder because EA are draining so many coins from that SBC being out right now. Now you're like, Nate, what's about the compensation? What is going on here? So EA released this tweet two and a half hours after that SBC was dropped in the game. The Encore Icon Upgrade SBC description was incorrect and has since been updated. They didn't even go and tell us what was incorrect about it. Guys, we got the deets right here. This is what was wrong. I didn't even realize this right away. In the original description of this pack, it did not say Thunderstruck in the description. It just said Base Centurions Winter Wild Cards Team of the Year, but it was still giving out Thunderstruck icon cards from this pack. So EA is saying, if you did the SBC before the update and received 
a Thunderstruck icon player from your pack, you will be sent a corrected reward in-game in the coming days, right? The famous words there. Um, so basically, you're affected if you packed a Thunderstruck icon, which I did not. I packed base Van Nistelrooy, so I'm expecting to not get compensated from this. But if you packed a Thunderstruck icon within the first, what are this, two and a half hours, two hours and 23 minutes, of content yesterday if you got the SBC done and packed the thunderstruck then technically you will be getting a free encore pack back i believe that's how they will do it it sounds like how they would do it based off of the wordage of the SBC there so there is compensation for that and the funny thing is we mentioned this in yesterday's video this SBC right here does not mention road to the finals the 85 plus campaign mix upgrade yet it gives out road to the finals so when is EA going to realize that the same thing is happening with this SBC and do compensation as well. I don't know, but the longer that it goes on, either they're going to sweep it under the rug and say nothing about it, or they're going to have to give out some pretty crazy compensation because the longer that SPC is out and wrong still, the number of players growing that have packed Road to the Final players. So that is the SPC, guys. And you're like, Nate, how do you craft this? How is it craftable right now? Of course, the 83 times 10, the 81 plus player pick, and the exchange SPCs, along with the 83 plus Team of the Week player pick, but guys, you don't even have to put in a big shift on the menus to get a bunch of those packs. You just have to play the game. I just, again, want to like draw your attention to this, guys. If you are doing either the daily showdown, which you get an 83 times double every day, or if you're just playing the game, two games per day gets you the 81 doubles and the 82 doubles for the NWSL. The daily F uh, fantasy FC daily play also gives you really good packs every single day. It is very easy. You throw some foot champs rewards on top of that and some other bonuses in here, like the, the, the bonuses still in here, like the future stars goal pursuit, which I'm still working through. There are packs everywhere on this game. You have the season XP to work through right now as well. It is very, very easy to get 83s, 4s, 5s, and 6s, and even some of the higher rated fodder to put into these SBCs. The menu craft is still going. It is still going. And we'll hope, hopefully see it continue today. But that is one thing that we do have to talk about uh, later on in the video. Now, one of the biggest things yesterday was, of course, the showdown game. A lot of us did a kanji. Or you did Clark, right? Because that was massive, massive game yesterday between Liverpool and Manchester City. But the draw result was not what a lot of us were looking for, or at least some of us. Right now, the cards are not upgraded. I don't know how long it's going to take them to upgrade. I hope it's only a couple of days. This is a showdown promo. They better be quick with it, is all that I'm saying. This is what these cards should look like after their upgrades take place. Since it was a draw, they're both getting a plus one. A lot of people have asked me, Nate, Will I still be able to put them into the evolution to upgrade them even further? The answer is yes, okay? Even though they didn't win, they are still going to get an upgrade plus one overall, and you will be able to put them into the Showdown Winner's Boost Evolution because, again, the rarity type for this is Showdown Plus. So the upgraded card with the yellow, right? And when you get a plus one or a plus two, you get the yellow card design upgrade and you are an upgraded showdown card. So those upgrades, I really hope they happen today. I'm not expecting them to come out today because that would seem very, very early, but it's technically possible. I would more so look towards maybe Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. We'll see how EA tried to do things. But of course, the, you cannot forget today, guys. There is another showdown game that is happening. It's a big day today because Chelsea play Newcastle. So I need to craft Isak here for the 85 and the 86 rated squads to at least have a little bit of skin in the game. I'm going to go for Isak here because I think he's the better card. I'd like to see him upgraded. I also just realized that this Ben Chilwell is like worse than the Emerson road to the final card, in my opinion, from West Ham or like at least on par or worse. So like I'm definitely doing Isak if I can get one of these crafted. Uh, make sure you get that done if you're interested in getting some skin in the game for what is coming out today or the game that is that is happening today so watch out for that we'll talk more about showdown sbcs in a minute i want to talk about the market though we've already talked about fodder going down and a lot of prices are going down because of the unlimited icon pack guys prices on this game are dropping in so many different areas just to name a couple of cards that you can really 
C are taking a hit because of this, right? This is an SBC that so many people want to do. They're going and selling cards to do so. Kunde, his Winter Wild cards, which, by the way, is a fantastic card to trade with. This guy fluctuates so much and also has so much demand. He went from 95,000 coins yesterday on Sunday, all the way down after the SBC dropped to 75k. Huge drop. And that's just one example of so many cards on this game right now that are having a very similar price movement and it's not because of the content that came out like a player is being re is replacing him in people's teams per se it's more so the fact that they release the really good content in the SBC section that people are going and selling cards for and it's draining coins to the market we talked about that yesterday but it's a common trend now for real here's another example Yusuf Mukoko is 300,000 coins yesterday he was a peak at 360 and has been dropping after content down to 300,000 coins a lot of the market is dropping because people's coins amount are going down because they're having to spend more to go and do these SBCs, especially the SBCs that are the most hype, like the Icon Upgrade. How much are Team of the Weeks? 42,000 coins for a Team of the Week card is crazy, okay? Remember when Team of the Weeks went crazy, crazy expensive early on? I think it was before a Team of the Year this year. They kind of peaked at like four, it was maybe 50K at one point. They're back, right? It's 40,000 coins for Team of the Weeks after a limited Icon SBC being out for a pack. So many people are going to want to do that, and that's going to make these cards go up a lot. Now, if you have Team of the Weeks, what I would tell you to do is probably sell them, lazy sell them. They might go to 45 or 47K by the time we hit to the middle or the end of this week because that's where all the hype is right now, right? It's in the SBC section with that icon pack. But I would probably get out of those before foot birthday and before those SBCs go away this weekend. Uh, that's one thing that I would shout there. Now, I could even see Team of the Weeks going higher. Like they could go 50K plus, but it depends on the packs that EA drop. Because once again yesterday, they dropped all the insane lightning rounds that we've been seeing them drop. The 85-7, the 84 times 10 tradable, right? Those are crazy lightning round packs. Uh, a couple other 86 plus packs as well. So I would be very, very careful with fodder of all uh, ratings right now. I know the higher tier is going down. I have some of those. I'm still lazy listing it, but I'm also taking some of my coins in those areas as well. I know that the fact that 89s or 27k is stupid low. That is stupid low. 88s are 16k. That is crazy low, guys. Let's be honest. But it's a combination of the panic selling and uh, the supply that is out there right now that is making these prices drop. And to be completely honest, I could see them going a little bit lower because the SBCs that people are buying these for, like Jarzinho, like Yashin, are just not good enough. So there's not as much demand there, but there is demand on the low tier of fodder. And these cards, pretty sure 89 or 86s were like 9K yesterday at, at the peak. Yeah, they were 9.4K, 9, 9 but they went all the way back down to 8,000 coins because of all the supply that was happening in the menus, even 85s. Yes, they are up, but there's so much supply. I would have to say that if you wanted to get on some bids for some of these, maybe it's an opportunity to get on bids for uh, 85 rateds for like a 7K, but that's risky because EA are probably going to drop the lightning rounds again today. But I could see fodder in the 85 to 86 range move up a little bit towards content just because that is the fodder that is in demand right now and is inflating in price. 84 is 2, 2.4K. All these were, what, 1.3, 1.4, two days ago? Now they're up 1,000 coins apiece, so a big W if you invested in those and held, or um, if you bought any of those recently, those are up big time. But that's, again, part of what is just draining coins in this market right now, which is just over time, over this week, going to devalue a lot of prices, especially as we start heading into foot birthday. Now, one thing I do want to point out is, there's a pack here in the store that is supplying cards tradable um, from past promos. If you missed it, if you're seeing some first owner cards on the market from either Ultimate Dynasties, Team of the Group Stage, Road to the Final, Team of the Year Honorable Mentions, and Future Stars, uh, they are all packable from this first half Super Encore pack. I'm not trying to tell you that all this pack would be worth opening with FC points or coins. Not at all. Um, but it is there. So like uh, earlier this evening, I saw a fresh first owner Road to the Final Pedri which I ended up buying because I was like, wow, this price is very, very cheap, right? I picked him up for 1.052. And what is he right now? He's like 1.14, 1.15. That's kind of where he normally is. This is a card that's, I mean, technically in that one pack, but I doubt he's really getting packed that much. Uh, and you can see too, right? No games played. This is a first owner card uh, that I bought off the market. I'm still holding on to him because Barca play in Champions League this week. 
upgrades are on the line. Hype is going to build for that. So I would definitely keep an eye on that part of the market, but be careful, again, because those cards are technically kind of packable. The other pack that is in the store that keeps refreshing every single day because EA knows that a lot of us are going to open it, and I opened it again yesterday, was that 50k pack that has the basically 0% chance of packing a team of the year, but still you have a chance. So people open it and it's 50,000 coins and is taking coins away from my account. They need to stop releasing it because I'm a sucker for it because of team of the year. So I need to sell some cards so that I can make some profits so I can open that pack and not feel bad about spending my coins on it. So have more self-control than me. Um, but I know some of you guys, like one or two people tweet me every day. Oh my goodness, I pack a team of the year. It's just for most people, not going to happen. So a couple other things to talk about with yesterday. This is not related to really the market too much. It's related to upgrades for our favorite cards from the FC Fantasy promo. Guys, the SBCs are going crazy, okay? Uh, both Werner and Rolfo are looking very, very good to almost get the potential max upgrade. Spurs yesterday, I have 18 games played and 38 goals with this card. This card is him, man. And I can't believe that Team Overter is getting another upgrade and has the potential very, I'm going to say very likely, but semi-likely now that Team Overter could go to a 90 three rated card and receive all of his upgrades yesterday spurs beat villa 4-0 coys and uh verner that was the second win for verner in his card he actually scored in the game as well but he had already crossed that threshold but most importantly they kept a clean sheet and scored four goals the clean sheet's not important for him the goals were he is very close if Tottenham score uh, four goals in the next two games, he will get that 11-goal threshold and go up even further. And if he appears in the next match as well, I think he has one more appearance to chalk off, and he'll go to a 92-rated card. But this upgrade's coming this Wednesday, so that's huge. Pedro Porro's getting a double upgrade for the clean sheet and for the wins. Um, and then I know we're not showing upgrades here for Rolfo, but... Uh, the women's Barca team scored seven goals, and she came off the bench in that game. Uh, they did not keep a clean sheet, but they scored seven goals. So it's very likely that in the next two weeks, Rolfo could potentially be going up to a 80 from an 89 to a 93, getting all four upgrades if they're able to keep a clean sheet and uh, if they're able to get another win. And she sees the pitch two more times. So it's looking great from an SBC's perspe uh, perspective for that card. Another big one is Mamouche. Um, Mamouche had a big game. He's going straight from an 86 to an 89 uh, with two upgrades there because he's an 86 rated base card. But Ferland Mendy's getting a big juice as well. This is um, all the cards from yesterday. There's even more, of course, from Saturday that will be getting upgraded on Wednesday. So I know that's not the current kind of promo with the Showdown Series cards, but those cards are still very hype. I would still tell you too, selling in the hype for these is kind of the play. Pedro Porto is like 35,000 coins. He bumped up a lot yesterday. Um, Mamouche, Marmouche went up a lot yesterday as well. He's 35,000 coins as well. He went from 26 to 32 and is now just slowly rising. The one thing I will tell you guys is though, be careful with these cards that are upgrading for fodder purposes because just do the calculations of what card you're buying because look at how much 89s, 88s, 89s, and 90s have dropped. Before, people were like, oh my goodness, 90s are all 45K, so these guys are going to upgrade and they're going to go to 45K. Well, if somebody's going to a 90 rated card, your ceiling there is kind of now like 40,000 coins. So just be careful with that uh, when you're investing in those FC fantasies. I sold just to not have any risk at all with it. I sold my Orbans at like 35, 36K. He's not a fodder card per se. He's like actually meta and he's going to go to an 89 rated card soon. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get out of that. And I'm still getting some lazy sales on 89s. Um, I've started to sell a few off at 27K just to get a few coins. Um, but these cards still lazy sell decently well. So if you want to mess around with that, you absolutely can. Now, let's talk about today, all right? Rounding out the video today, Monday content. What else is EA going to surprise us with today? Well, first thing is, this is this SBC going away today is really sad. If they don't bring back the 80-plus player pick or this 81-plus player pick, it's going to be meaning that the menu grind is going to get a whole lot worse because we need something to rinse untradeable, low-rated golds into. Basically, gold commons, right? You guys know these player picks have been holding the menu grind alive because you can just craft and craft and craft some more. We need something like this to return today, preferably the 80-plus player pick that only required six cards. That way, your non-rares go even further when you're building these player picks. That's my hope for today as we get that SBC back. And with how upgrade pack content has been, I think they'll do it. Uh, I know we have an 81 double that is out, 
Uh, that's not good enough. The 81 double requiring five rares is not good enough at all, in my opinion, for the crafting. So we need an 80 plus player pick today. EA, please do that. But if we don't, that's really going to hurt the menus. And even it might hurt fodder because people will not be able to get all the fodder they need to go and do these SPCs repeatedly and continuously. And that might be a little bit painful. So watch out for that today. I mean, EA is kind of going crazy with the upgrade packs. We might get a whole new other upgrade pack today. You know, maybe like an 85 double, 86 player pick. You know, um, since we had the 83 times 10, they might even drop something else out in the game today. I think that's actually possible. So watch out for that. And then, of course, we still have showdowns to come. But again, we're at that point of the week where, like we talked about yesterday, we have no idea. Watch out for lease today. If uh, you see some nationalities leaked or tweeted or hinted at from some of those guys on Twitter, um, you could get some insight into what showdown is going to be today. There's still Wolf and Kanalf that could be coming today. You've got a, this one's probably going to be later on because this game is very late. It's like March 24th. You've got Labatka and Bastoni still to come. And then of course, Joao Felix and Depay among a few others are still leaked. So keep a very, very close eye out for what showdown SBC could be today. It's a Monday. I hope they drop a banger. I know like, um, Akanji and Clark were the best two so far we need to go back up to that sort of level give us another one that was that good ea and uh we could be talking about something pretty fun so um at this rate who knows man who knows i don't know if there's any more icon species that are upcoming we'll see what ea's content tweet says about stuff that's going on this week as well but um yeah the market is kind of dropping like crazy but i will tell you this as well if you're looking to trade and make a quick buck all right Watch these fantasy cards that are out of packs. I mean, all of them are now. They have crazy fluctuations, right? Look at Konate, 240,000 coins. After Liverpool's draw yesterday, which wasn't a win, so he didn't get upgraded, he's down over 100K. This card could very well drop a little bit more this morning. Like maybe he goes to like 220 or something and then goes back up to like 270. It's very possible. He's still live. And these cards are semi-rare, especially on the middle of the top tier. So I would very closely watch cards like that. Here's a great example of a card that moves crazy, right? Panic sell, panic sell, because PSG don't hit the upgrade qualifiers. He goes from one point, just basically a million coins. And right now he's 1.3. These cards that are rare from FC Fantasy Team 1 and 2 and the Heroes as well, they have crazy price fluctuations once they get panic sold. Gundawan went from 200k to 240 and uh, you know, he's now back down to 220, but that's the sort of thing you can see with some of these cards. So just keep a close eye on them because they move like mad and they can be very, very good to trade with. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. I really hope EA drops a player pick today. We need it. Speaking of panic selling, this Gavardiol was down. He still is 900,000 coins. That is crazy, man. That is absolutely insane. Um, but of course, with the Kanji getting a plus one, yeah, man, that's the biggest, best hype center back right now in this game. But watch those types of cards because they can be very, very good to trade with. And we'll see if EA surprises with anything today on a Monday. If you enjoyed the video today, guys, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. Appreciate you guys watching all the videos as always. And I will see you in a Twitch stream today. That link's down below in the description. Peace out.